Hi, I am Adhumbar Patkar and welcome to this lecture on the module Corrosion. In this lecture, we are going to talk about some important methods to decrease the rate of corrosion. We will start with this cathodic protection methods. Under this cathodic protection method, we are going to talk about two important methods. One that is sacrificial anodic protection method and the other one that is impressed current method. In both of this method, the principle used that is making the whole structure to be protected as cathode by providing electrons. So let's first discuss about this sacrificial anodic protection method. In this sacrificial anodic protection method, the structure we want to protect is made cathodic by connecting that with the more anodic metal. In this example, you can observe the underground pipeline which we want to protect and we can connect this pipeline by using the electric wire to this sacrificial anodic metal which is backfilled by using some like material came through the corrosion current. The metal which we can use as this sacrificial anode we can decide that by using electrochemical series or galvanic series. If we consider the pipeline is made up of steel, if you check the galvanic series, steel is somewhere here or iron is somewhere here. So we can use the more active metal as compared to steel or iron. That means we can use zinc or magnesium which is more anodic or active metal towards the corrosion in the series can be used as sacrificial anode. So in this case, as this metal which may be zinc or magnesium will behave as anode and as compared to this metal, this iron or steel pipeline will behave as cathode. So as you know on the anode there will be corrosion reaction or oxidation reaction where metal will get dissolved and on cathode there will be reduction reaction and there will not be any corrosion on this region. So this underground pipeline will be protected from corrosion and this sacrificial anode will dissolve continuously instead of the main structure. So in this case, this sacrificial anodic metal we are using as the source of electron to make this underground pipeline uh, more cathodic so that this whole structure will behave as cathode as compared to this metal and so that we can protect the metal structure by using this method. After some time, we need to replace this sacrificial anode when it dissolves completely. Metal is generally used as sacrificial anodes are magnesium, zinc, aluminum and their alloys. This method is generally used to protect the structures like uh, we write steel pipelines, underground cables, marine structures, chief hulls, water tanks, etc. So this was all about the sacrificial anodic protection method which is a type of cathodic protection method. Now let's discuss second method comes under the cathodic protection method that is impressed current method. Now the drawback of the sacrificial anodic protection method was we need to replace the sacrificial anode once the whole anodic metal consume because of corrosion. That drawback can be overcome by using this impressed current method. In this method, impressed current is applied in the opposite direction 
of the corrosion current to make the whole structure catholic. In this example, there is the underground pipeline you can observe which you want to make the cathodic. So here instead of the sacrificial anode as the electron source, here we are using external battery as the electron source. Here DC source like battery we can use as external source or AC source also we can use with the rectifier. So here we are using the electrode that may be platinum or graphite or stainless steel which is more corrosive resistance instead of sacrificial anode. Now this electrode is not the electron source in this case but this DC battery we are using. So this metal will not get corroded continuously. So you have to connect the negative terminal of this battery to the structure we want to protect so that the structure will behave as cathode and positive terminal of this battery you have to connect to this electrode which will behave as anode. Now in this case which metal will behave as anode and which metal will behave as cathode is not depends upon the electrochemical series or galvanic series but the battery terminals to which we are connecting the metal structures. Here the anode is backfilled in the corroding medium and when you provide sufficient DC current this structure will behave as cathode and this will behave as anode and the structure will get protected because we are continuously providing the electrons to the structure and because of this reduction the reaction will occur here and the structure will get protected and here the oxidation reaction takes place but as we are using here the inert metal that will not much get corroded. This type of protection method can be used to protect the metal structures like underground pipelines, water tanks, transmission lines, towers, marine pipes, water box coolers, etc. This protection technique is useful for long term operations and more complex structures. So here we discuss two cathodic protection methods by using of which we can decrease the rate of corrosion or we can protect the metal structures which are very complex and large. So that's it for now. Thank you very much. See you next time.